Lorenz here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute Minnie Mouse ears. Yes. But before I get started, I want to take one second to ask my new viewers to click the subscribe button down below so that way you can be notified whenever I upload new videos just like this one. And it really helps me out because I'm trying to reach my goal of 15,000 subscribers. So anyway, this tutorial is going to be perfect for any Disney lover. I personally have fangirled so much every time I make a pair of these because they're just so cute and so easy to make, it's ridiculous. And it gives you another option of how to make these because usually all the tutorials out there are made with fabric and this is made out of duct tape. So let's get into the supplies so we can make these. So to make your Minnie Mouse ears, you're going to need a cutting surface, a hot glue gun, a piece of cardboard, a pin, some nonstick scissors, these are optional but they are helpful, an X-Acto knife, your Minnie Mouse ear templates, which I will link in the description down below where you can find those. You're going to need a thicker headband, a ruler, some cotton filler, two colors of duct tape, one for your Minnie Mouse ears and one for your bow, and some clear tape. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so for the first step you're going to need your cardboard and your Minnie Mouse ear templates as well as your pin. So what I'm going to do here is just take my templates and I'm just going to trace these onto the cardboard. Okay guys, so now we should have our templates right here. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna start cutting these out. So now you should have your first Minnie Mouse ear templates cut out. Now I'm going to be taking my black duct tape here and we're just going to cover up these ears. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing my duct tape right on top of the cardboard and I'm making sure that there is a ton of duct tape on the sides and the bottom and as well as the top obviously because this is going to help us attach this to another piece that we're going to make here in a little bit. And this is what your piece should look like now. And I'm just gonna place this off to the side. You can go ahead and do your other cardboard if you want. But now I'm going to make a sheet of duct tape with my black color. taking that template once again and I'm just going to use my exacto knife to cut around that. Okay, so now I'm just going to peel off the excess duct tape and then I'm just going to use my clear tape to cover this side because this side isn't going to show and it helps save on your actual duct tape but this is optional. If you don't have clear tape, you can just use your regular duct tape. And if there are any air bubbles or creases in your tape, it really doesn't matter because like I said, you're not gonna see this. So now I'm just gonna peel that up. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. And now I'm going to take our cardboard piece and we're just going to put this right on top of the cardboard piece. And I'm going to start cutting around the duct tape. So just cut lines from the cardboard down. And now I'm just folding these pieces up onto our mouse ear. So I'm going to continue to do this the whole way around except for the top. We want to leave that open. Okay 
guys, so this is what my earpiece looks like now. And now I'm going to take some of that cotton filler and I'm just gonna start slipping that into this piece. Trying to fill it up all the way to the bottom of the ear. And this is just gonna make it look a lot more 3D than it would just being the cardboard. Okay. So now I'm just gonna continue to make cuts around the duct tape. Okay, so this is what our first ear should look like. You wanna do all these steps to your other ear as well, obviously. But for now, we're going to take our black duct tape once again. Okay, so I just created another sheet of duct tape, just big enough to fit our template on there again. I'm just gonna trace around this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna peel away the rest of that excess duct tape. And I'm bringing back in my mouse ear. And this is going to be the front of our mouse ear, so I'm just gonna place this very gently on the top. It's just going to give it a much smoother, cleaner look. So just take your time and work with it. Try to get it as smooth as possible. So this is what your mouse ear should look like now. Obviously, you want to do all these steps to your other piece, so you have two mouse ears. Okay, guys, so now that you should have your two mini mouse ears done, we are going to get started on the mini mouse bow. Okay, so I'm just taking my red duct tape here and I'm going to make this strip 10 inches long and then I'm taking another piece, I'm putting that on top to make this sheet three inches tall. Now I'm going to take one strip of duct tape and that is going to be 11 inches long. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull up this three inch tall piece and I'm going to place the 11 inch long piece right in the middle. And I'm gonna fold over the excess. So now we should have a piece that looks like this. And we're going to fold this inward and place that right onto the sticky. Then I'm gonna take another piece of duct tape. This is just five inches long. And I'm gonna cut off a really thin piece. And I'm just gonna use this to cover the sticky in the middle. And it's gonna keep this together. Now I'm just gonna fold it in the middle once. I'm gonna fold this part over, flip it over, and I'm gonna fold this part over. Now I'm taking that five inch piece and I'm gonna cut a thicker strip. And I'm just placing this in the middle. I can seal that bow together in a little. And now I'm just taking my headband and seeing which side will look better. And I took another piece of our five inch tape and I'm going to place that right on the bow again. But this time we're folding it onto the headband as well, which can be kind of tricky, so just take your time. So now you should have your bow attached to the headband. And now all we have to do is attach the mini ears. Okay guys, so now you're going to want your mini ears and your mini bow all together and we're going to get our hot glue gun. And I'm just gonna start putting some hot glue on the bottoms here, like so. And I'm just gonna stick this onto the back. And you just wanna hold it there until the glue dries a little bit. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other one. hold it there for a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave these to dry for about five minutes and I will be right back. Okay, so I let that dry some more and I'm going to take some more of my hot glue and I'm going to make sure that it's attached to the headband again just to reinforce it. All this is doing is just attaching the mouse ears to the headband a little bit better 
once you're feeling good about how attached your ears are, you are done with your Minnie Mouse headband. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't already, please follow me on all my social medias. Those links will be down in the description below. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's the most important, where you will hear updates on me, my channel, when my upload schedules are, just upcoming projects. Everything is on Twitter. You guys can actually go onto Twitter and view all of my tweets without actually being a member of Twitter. I hope you all had a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys! Thank <laughs> you.